Um, sorry I had to start it, like, with that flip. But hello, welcome. Um, my jaw's still eating itself, if you're wondering. Also, I just realized that I automatically always lift my eyebrows when people are looking at me. To, like, not to the point where it's, like, you can see lines, but, like, this. This is, normal. This is my normal phase. Just, like... But I lift them so my hooded eyes don't get stuck on themselves when I blink. But they're getting more hooded and I have to lift them higher. And this one keeps getting stuck still. So anyway, <laughs> this is not what this video is about. <clears throat> well, this time at least we know there will not be any leaf blowers because it's like 1230. And I wanted to... so. I just got home from a show and I never do anything fun so it was like totally out of the ordinary and crazy but I bought the tickets like a year and a half ago before the pandemic and then it got rescheduled and then it got rescheduled again and now here we are so I got to go to the show and I went alone because I'm no longer with the person I was with when I bought the tickets. Story of my life. Every single show I bought tickets for. The person that I was supposed to go with isn't there. <laughs> but usually I find someone to replace them, but this time I went alone and it was amazing and it was funny and it was great. <clears throat> but it was so funny that my jaw hurts really bad now and I don't even know why I'm filming. Oh, because I still have makeup on and I wanted to put the makeup to good use. And um, anyway. I have a list in front of me until I keep looking down. I was gonna try to have better posture. You probably can't see me anymore though, huh? I guess I have to have bad posture. Oh, I was gonna ask you if we were in heaven. Cause I'm so sorry if the lighting is all messed up. I can't see what's going on on the camera. So I don't know what's going on. So I'm sorry if it looks bad, but hopefully you can still see my wings because I feel like I did pretty good considering my extreme hooded eyes. So, what are we talking about? <laughs> <clears throat> so I got home and I saw someone commented on one of my videos so I went to it and then I watched that video and then I watched another video and then who doesn't watch their own videos all the time? Like I definitely watch my own videos a lot because I like who I put out online. <laughs> like I like that person in these videos. I think that's a great version of myself that I aspire to be more like. And this is gonna be a mess. I'm sorry, this video is a mess. So the last video I made about my jaw eating itself. Sorry, you had a flap that was open and I closed it for you. <laughs> oh, well, I, I have my orange thing. My nasal dilator looks kind of like a nose ring, right? Did you notice it? Did you think it was a nose ring? Because other people do. And I've gotten compliments on it. <laughs> like, I like your nose ring. And I'm like, thanks. It's not a nose ring, but thanks. <laughs> but anyway, I'm very happy with it. It's been easier to not lose it because I'm so attached to it because I like it so much. So I haven't lost it yet. And I also still have the other one that I bought when I was in the last video. I told you all I bought two of them. I still have both of them. So I'm doing better. <laughs> okay, but so I said that my braces had improved my jaw pain. It's still true, but shortly after that video, it was probably the same fucking day, I got hit in the face at work with a box. And, um, that sucked. But it hit me like right here. And my jaw pain came back. So now my jaw hurts again. It's not as bad as it could be, or maybe I'm just used to it, whatever. But <clears throat> I'm in pain again, so that sucks. Um, what else? Oh, the last video was also manic or thought I was manic, or whatever is going on, I don't know. But I'm, I'm not happy. <laughs> no, I'm not happy anymore. No, I don't think, I don't think it's possible. I'm just so, I don't feel like a human anymore. Like I feel like a robot because eating and sleeping are at the very bottom of the list if they get done at all. Because I gotta make enough money 
to pay my rent and all the medical bills that cost more than my rent. So I'm paying my rent plus my rent again in medical bills and a little more in medical bills. And that doesn't even count groceries and gas. So like, what's going on, bro? <laughs> I'm paying more than my rent in medical bills. Are you fucking kidding me? Why do I live here? <laughs> oh, hiya. So that's that. So I have to work constantly or else I won't be living in a home anymore and I'll lose everything, including this beautiful bedroom setup that I created for myself. <sighs> Which I should show you the lights, but we don't have time for that because we're here to talk about how my jaw is eating itself and leaving me. So what's happening now? I decided to keep my job at FedEx and even after I got hit in the face with a box, even though I have to pay almost $400 a month for insurance, whatever, that's fine. Also, I can't talk. <clears throat> I keep losing my voice because I was laughing so hard earlier and I was yelling and screaming to show my appreciation for this beautiful people. So, decided to stay at FedEx. They did give us a temporary, or I don't know what they call it, some corporate bullshit about how we get three extra dollars, but they could take it away anytime, anytime. So I go back tomorrow and they could be like, oh, actually, yeah, no, we decided that you guys are not actually gonna get that $3, so sorry, <laughs> no. It's bullshit. Like, if you're gonna give us $3, give us $3. Don't just dangle it in our faces like, hey, you can have this, but I can just take it away whenever I want. So you better be good. <sighs> I really hate capitalism. It's making me really angry. I hope you're on the same page with me because I'm just angry in general because life fucking sucks. I'm literally a robot. I wake up, I'm stressed. Immediately have to start working immediately have to do everything else. And then maybe I get to eat a meal at like three fucking clock. And maybe another one at six. And maybe a snack before I go to bed at midnight. But I don't go to bed at midnight, but I stay, I go to bed at midnight, so it's fine. <laughs> so anyway, what else is happening in my life with my jaw? What, I'm not even following the list. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, in the last video I said that my singing voice was like, great, beautiful, perfect. Well, that's gone now too. <laughs> I think that my airway has gotten worse than it was for my whole life before this because things just get worse before they get better when you get jaw surgery. Why does it have to be that way? I don't know. That's just how it fucking is. So I was already suffering inscrutably, if that's a word. I don't even know what inscrutable means, but <laughs> I was inscrutably suffering. Sup <laughs> I can't even talk. Why am I doing this? The makeup. Gotta take advantage of the makeup when you have it. Because I never get to wear makeup because I don't have time. And that's one of my favorite things to do is put on makeup. So it sucks. Anyway, I'm not gonna complain that much. I'm gonna not complain anymore about, well, I'm gonna complain because this is about my jaw, but let's stick to the jaw. So <laughs> my airway is getting worse. I still haven't had the teeth removed. I'm supposed to get them removed on Monday, but oh, this is a really good thing. So I went in and I'm talking to the surgeon and he's like, the surgeon wants to talk to you before your surgery or whatever the hell is going on your extractions. So I go and the surgeon's like, so I know you had extractions as a kid and I know it was traumatizing for you. So like, what was traumatizing about it? And I'm like, well, I just knew I shouldn't have had him removed and I didn't know how to tell anybody because I was a child and I was like, I'm bad and nobody cares about what I think. So blah, blah, blah. Long story short, he said, I, I couldn't afford to get the sedation where they put you to sleep and then take them out. I was going to have to be awake and have them just do the shots. And I have this pimple here and it's painful. I got a painful pimple on my chin. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, I was talking to the surgeon and he said that he doesn't want me to have another traumatizing experience, so he's going to allow me to have the sedation without paying the $500, which why the fuck is it $500, by the way? We're not complaining about the system. We're just living in it, suffering in it. Are we living? I don't think we're living. We're roboting. We're trying to be robots. Maybe that's why they want to make us robots, so 
we don't actually even have any needs anymore. And then we can just full time be cogs in the machine, just like they want. I hope I'm not the only one that feels like this because I'm just like angry. So then anyway, great news. I get free sedation. So it's not free because I already paid 300 something dollars for this extraction bullshit on my care credit again. So that payment's probably going to go up, which is fun. So the extractions are on the 21st, whatever, how long away that is. I, it's a Friday. I think it's next Friday, not this Friday, but next Friday. And also with the airway being worse, my sleep is getting worse. So instead of my breathing stopping and me waking up, but not actually being conscious of being woken up, I'm actually like actually waking up. <laughs> actually, like actually, like actually waking up. So, um, like even just last night, I had this crazy nightmare about how there was a, an orange cat and then the cat turned purple and for some reason it was bad, but it was also glowing and I was next to somebody and it was dark and we were in some like basement room or something, but nobody cares about each other's dreams. But when the cat turned purple, it turned into a nightmare. And then I was like half awake and half asleep. And then I realized I couldn't fucking breathe because I was on my back. So I had to flip onto my side and then I couldn't go back to sleep. And it's just like, it's really scary not being able to breathe, especially when you're trying to sleep. So it's just like traumatizing and hard and scary and I don't like it. And it makes me not want to sleep, which is why I'm filming at 1230. And have to be up at like eight. So it's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. What's next? Oh, mood swings. <laughs> I already have mood swings, which if you know me at all, you know that. But like, it's worse than it was ever. It's worse than it's ever been. And I think it has something to do with the airway and hormones and something. I don't know what else. So that was not a word or words but yeah my mood swings are terrible and i've been having really bad cramps during my monthly cycle i don't know if we're allowed to talk about that on youtube oh it's taboo <laughs> um also i'm in a lot more pain with my neck and my shoulders and my back and my knees and everything literally just hurts all the time and i can't see my chiropractor weekly like i need to because I can't afford it. So I have to see her once a month or twice a month maximum because that's all I can afford. And insurance doesn't cover that because why would they? Because it's actually working to help my pain in the meantime, but whatever. I also can't afford to see my therapist weekly, which is another reason I'm so depressed and miserable. So I've been seeing her once a month and now I'm gonna step it up to Twice a month, even though I don't know where all this extra money is coming from, but somehow it's going to have to happen. So we're just going to figure it out. It's fine. It's fine. I'm totally going to be able to pay rent next month. I am. I don't have any more room on my credit cards. I have to pay rent. All right. What else? My house is a mess. <laughs> I don't have time to eat. What makes you think I have time to clean? I do like put items away, but like vacuuming, that's not happening. I'm not vacuuming. Nope. I do clean the kitchen though every now and then because I just can't deal with it. Having a messy kitchen is like the worst thing ever. So the kitchen gets cleaned sometimes. <laughs> but vacuuming, no. No. I haven't vacuumed in like over a month. It's gross. And I need to vacuum. But I just can't bring myself to do it because I'm so tired. And I'm in pain. And all I want to do is lay on the couch and play a phone game and listen to podcasts or YouTube videos because I just don't care about my life anymore because I'm a robot. I'm a robot. <laughs> That's what robots do. They play phone games. <laughs> I can't believe I'm gonna post this, but oh well. Okay, so what's next? Because all I do is work, wake up stress, go to sleep stress, blah, 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 whatever, same difference. Also, I can't swallow, that rhymed. <laughs> I get, I'm like having more problems with like choking on food often. And it's not like, choking like it's not choking like it's like I'm like <clears throat> how am I talking how do I explain this basically the food or saliva or water or whatever kind of thing is trying to enter my esophagus is instead going up into my airway but it's not my down airway it's the up airway it's the one from your nose to your mouth and it's above the soft palate 
<laughs> which is above that little dangly thing that sits in the back of your throat. And it sucks because it's just like if it's food, it just sits there and like irritates me. So I have to cough constantly, but I can't get it out. Like nothing I do. I can't, if I nose spray stuff up there, if I, if I sniffle, if I blow my nose, nothing works. It just sits there until it dissolves. And I just cough and cough and cough until I get used to it. And then I just try to ignore it until it goes away. But it's like, are you serious? And it happens with spit. I'm like sitting here, I'll try to swallow and it'll just go up there, which it does every time now, but I'm getting used to it. But when it like a lot of the saliva goes up there, or a lot of the whatever it is goes in that area, it's like, it's extreme coughing for like five minutes straight and I can't stop because there's shit in my airway and it's like, it won't leave. <laughs> it's not, it doesn't have a way to drain. It doesn't have any way to move. I don't know what's going on, why that's happening. I would love to dissect my skull and figure it out, but I can't really do that when I'm alive. So fine, fine. What else? <clears throat> I just wrote this down because the dangly thing in the back of your throat because there's some hoes in this house but they need to get out because it's my condyles and they are supposed to be monogamous to their own joints but I think that they want to explore their options and that's why they're eating themselves because they're trying to leave and go find somebody else but they were meant to be monogamous and I'm offended. Why don't they love me? Why are you leaving me? Can you please stop? Can you just, the rest of whatever is left of you, please stay with me so I can maybe survive until I have surgery? <sighs> okay, so that's that. I don't know what's going on with my insurance. They denied the thing from my surgeon, so I gave it to my primary care doctor <clears throat> and I told them to submit it. And they said they were going to, but I don't know if they ever did because I never have heard back from the insurance company. So did they approve it? Maybe. Maybe they did. I need to figure that out soon because I also have to start working on my appeal. And I feel like I should probably get the metal test, but it's 500 fucking dollars that I don't have. I don't know how to do this anymore. Like, I just can't. I'm burnt out. I'm exhausted. And I'm just depressed and angry and I don't want to deal with it anymore and it sucks. So sorry for my voice, sorry for the lighting, sorry for my posture, but I hope you like my makeup because I think it looks really nice and I really like it and it looked really cute tonight and nobody talked to me and that was fine and I just laughed and there were four empty seats on this side of me and one on this side of me. <laughs> it's a sold out show. <laughs> but I guess the people just like forgot they bought a ticket or couldn't come for some reason because it's been so long and they kept rescheduling it. So it was nice because I was kind of alone, which I wanted to be anyway because I didn't want to go out anyway, but I love this podcast and I had to see their live show and I, it, oh, it was amazing. I'm very happy I went. So anyway, I guess that's it. I just threw something at you, but I missed. So there's that. Um, also, thank you to my Aunt Michelle for giving me some Christmas money because I bought this great sweatsuit and a few other things for myself because you said to do something nice for myself, so I totally did. Got some clothes and I got some really, really, really cute heels that I'm not going to wear until I'm performing on stage someday. And honestly, I'm just going to buy every ticket for a stadium for my own show when I'm rich so I can perform in a stadium even if nobody fucking comes. I'll just pay a bunch of homeless people to come because there's going to be plenty of them. There already are. So I'll just fill the stadium with a bunch of homeless people and have a buffet and I'll perform for them. And I'm sure that they will love it because homeless people are just like everybody else. And they're actually, we shouldn't call them homeless people. We should call them unhomed people or people without homes because being homeless doesn't define somebody, right? Should I be? Oh my gosh, I'm totally a commentary YouTuber now. Oh my God. No. I'm just crazy. So I gotta get off here before I say something really stupid. Okay, thank you for watching and I'm gonna have to move you because I can't see you. Okay, bye.